Unless you're way into things like auras, there's kind of only two ways to think about what reality really is. The first view says reality is everything that would still be here if there was no one around to experience it. But the problem with that is that as far as we know, we humans actually do exist. And a lot of the things that we can all agree are real, like language or war or consciousness, wouldn't exist without us. So the second view says that reality is whatever is most fundamental in the universe. In this view, if you wanted to know why the stuff around us behaves the way it does, you have to look beneath the surface to see that everything is made of molecules. But if you want to know why molecules do what they do, you have to realize that they're just clusters of atoms. And atoms are groups of protons, neutrons, and electrons, which in turn are made up of quarks and leptons. But even quarks and leptons are really just made of fields or strings or something. In fact, no one's really found a smallest chunk of the universe yet. But we can continue down this path if we think of particles as fluctuations that occupy a bit of space for a bit of time. In other words, the particles aren't really what's fundamental. It's the space-time they sit in. And what is space-time? It's a set of coordinates. Three for space, one for time. And coordinates are just a way to talk about numbers. So what is a number? Does it really exist somewhere? Yeah, kind of. It's a concept, in our minds. But it's not just like any old concept. Numbers are the same for everyone, everywhere. Three to me is the same as three to you, which is the same as three to the Queen of England. So by this line of reasoning, the most fundamental thing that exists, and that forms the basis for everything else, is math. But that's weird. If math is really the ultimate reality, then how would you explain something really complicated, like consciousness? You might start by saying consciousness is what human brains do. And to understand brains, you have to look at neurons, which are cells and behave according to the laws of biology. But biology is just complicated chemistry, and chemistry is just complicated physics, which, as we saw, is ultimately math. But we just said that math is a set of ideas that exist only in our minds. So that means, somehow, we're back where we started. To explain consciousness, we had to rely on consciousness. That may seem crazy, but it's not the craziest part. It turns out we can construct all of mathematics from the concept of an empty set, better known as nothing. That means that if math really is whatever is most fundamental in the universe, then reality is ultimately based on nothing which is to say that nothing is what is real. <laughs>